You know how I'm always saying the Democrats are dangerous because they seem able to justify any action to get what they want. For example, they think Donald Trump is bad. So mass government censorship and election manipulation are now justified. Well, I actually hate to say that I was right in this case because frankly, it's frightening to contemplate. But I was right and Joe Scarborough's rant about abolishing the filibuster is another prime example of this very real threat. You know, we, we always love to say, oh, we've got this problem in America. America, American culture, Americans of this, Amer why don't we just call it what it is? It's the radical fringe. That radical fringe being those of you who believe you have a constitutionally protected right to self-defense and to own firearms. If this so-called radical fringe is the only thing stopping Democrats from creating a utopia, why didn't they do it when they had full control of the government for two years? It's the 10%. It's this, we'd have universal background check if 90% of Americans had their way. There would be a ban on military style weapons if two thirds of Americans had their way, according to a lot of polls through the years. Oh, according to a lot of polls over the years. How would universal background checks have stopped any of these mass shootings? If two thirds of people don't want the public having military style weapons, they'll be happy to know that most don't and none have been used in mass shootings. The rifles issued by the military have a selector on them, allowing for three round bursts and full auto mode, which is not available to the general public. An AR-15 isn't a military style weapon or a weapon of war. An AR-15 isn't any more a military style or a weapon of war any more than a handgun or shotgun. These labels are meant to evoke an emotional response, which they clearly do but it is intentional disinformation. This matters because you hear a lot of talk about semi-automatic and assault weapons bans, and most people in the public think this means machine guns, but it doesn't, and it actually encompasses most guns. So the left can stealthily ban most guns without people realizing it. And have no doubt, that is the goal. And I must say, I've always been a strong believer in uh, the filibuster. I've always loved the idea that the house is hot, the Senate cools things down. No more. It doesn't work. Mm. When when six percent of Americans can allow the continued proliferation of guns without background checks and the killing of children, it's time to get rid of the filibuster. What happened to their undying love for democracy? Unless they actually think that democracy just means Democrats in control. If Democrats did get rid of the filibuster, what would happen when Republicans got control back? Obviously, the media and the Democrats would suddenly change their standards again. But I think they might actually believe that Republicans never will get control back because they're controlling the elections now. Can allow the continued proliferation of guns without background checks and the killing of children. That's right. The opponents to whatever Democrats want to do are with the child killers. You're not just disagreeing with Joe Scarborough because you have a rational fact and data-based argument. No, you're doing it because you're with the terrorists. You're an inhuman monster, which means they can do anything to stop you, including getting rid of any checks on an authoritarian government. And in fact, that's exactly what Eric Fartswell said today on MSNBC. So you as a Republican, I think by your negligence in protecting them, you can either side with the kids and protect them or we're gonna say that you're siding with the killers. What the actual fuck did you just say to me right now? Get out of my sight. Get out of my sight. Unreal. I think you can make a good argument that that is inciting violence against Republicans. Apparently, it's more guns and security for the rich and powerful like Eric Swalwell, but for the plebes, it's defenseless fish in a barrel and no gun zones. This should concern all of you because when the government and the media have united in demonizing law-abiding regular Americans as inhuman monsters, it's because they want to do something bad to you. All right, folks, that's all I got for that one. Thanks for watching. If you found it informative, please hit that like button, share, subscribe, and leave a comment to vent some of those frustrations. Thanks a lot. I'll see you all on the next one.